Hey everybody and welcome back. Before we begin, please make sure that you like and subscribe because it really does help out our channel and it also really helps us reach others in need of assistance with these topics. So speaking of topics, what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be finding the area and perimeter of the square shown below. Now a square is a four-sided four shape that is made up of four equal sides. So what that means is that whenever you have a square, all the sides are the same. So this side over here is six centimeters and this side over here is six centimeters matching with these two over here. Now, a square will also have four 90 degree angles, which just means that they're forming right angles here. And you know that you have a 90 degree angle whenever you see these little boxes as your angle dimension. So the area for our square is going to be our length times our width. And it really doesn't matter which one you denote as length or width for a rectangle or for a square, sorry. Usually the length is the bottom one here and the width is the one that is vertical. But since they are exactly the same dimensions, it does not really matter. So it'd be six centimeters times six centimeters. So our area in total would just be six times six, which gives us 36 centimeters squared. And remember, for an area calculation, you got to have some units to the power of two. That shows you that you have an area dimension or an area unit. So perimeter. Perimeter is just a fancy word for saying how much it takes to get around the entire object. So when we have a four-sided shape like a square, we're going to add four dimensions together. Well. All our dimensions are six centimeters. So if we start here and work our way around this shape, we encounter six centimeters four times. So the perimeter is just gonna be six centimeters plus six centimeters plus six centimeters. And you probably guessed it, plus six more centimeters. So this will give us a total perimeter of 24 centimeters. Keep in mind that we do not have a squared here because perimeter is a distance so we need a non-squared dimension such as centimeters. So I hope this video was helpful. And if you want to see more problems solved this Friday, please check out other videos on our channel. Also, if you've done so already, if this video was helpful, please like it, leave a positive, positive comment below, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a fantastic day.